Joining us now for Stocking Up is Tom White. He is with Red Option Advisors. Love having you on the show. And I know you're watching the options trading as well as some stocks. So yeah. good to have you here. Good to be back. Let's start with Target. What a mess yesterday. But is this a buy now that the stock is down? Um, I think we're off about 10% and 11% uh, before that. Uh, it's getting close to that $65 level, which I think might be a near-term bottom. But I think they've got uh, another quarter of full of pain uh, heading into that holiday season at the end of the year where they typically pick up. That's their biggest sales quarter, but uh, I think the stock's in for some more pain uh, into this next quarter. Summer's coming up, nobody's gonna be in stores. So uh, $65, $60 level might be a good entry target, uh, but no pun intended, but um, <laughs> I think there's still some uh, rough patches ahead for these brick and mortar stores. Is it because of Amazon stealing everybody's business? Uh, I think that's part of it. Um, and one of the big things for Target is their online sales are less than 10% of their overall sales. And unless they start picking that up, start making some changes like Walmart's done a little bit, um, you're going to see some more uh, downside in the stock, I think. Right. And we have, of course, those Walmart earnings out today. Let's move on and talk about another hot stock. And it's been Facebook. This stock has been a winner. In four years ago, this stock IPO'd mm -hmm. and it was the biggest botch ever. And now people who just stayed in the game with that stock yeah. are oh so happy. What do you think about Facebook from here? Yeah, it's kind of pulled back from its all-time highs, which was, uh, you know, reached us a month ago. Uh, had solid earnings. Uh, it's hitting that 117 level again. Uh, stock doesn't pay a dividend, um, but you got a billion users uh, using it every day, and they're really monetizing their advertising uh, on mobile. And that's the future, and Facebook knows it. They're ahead of the game. And what that allows them to do now that they've got revenue coming in is kind of uh, branch into other forms of revenue generating uh, businesses. Another popular stock, of course, Apple. Yeah. Where are we going with Apple? <laughs> I think it's just settling in. Yeah, you know, we, we get news on it, Apple every day. Their sales are slowing in China. Their sales are slowing here. Um, product cycle is not what it should be as far as innovation goes. But at the same time, now you've got some investors coming out and saying, okay, we've got, uh, we've got a bottom in here. Uh, I'm getting into Apple. It's a 40% it's a off its highs. And that's kind of giving the stock a little bit of a pop. But uh, I don't think it's going to last very long. Stock's up um, over the last uh, few days uh, based on those uh, uh, investors getting back into the shares. But, you know, that I still think that 85 to $87 level is uh, a bottom. And we might revisit that again soon. What do you think about the overall stock market. What are you doing with the market, Tom? Uh, I'm not getting long it right now. Valuations are still really high. We flatlined over the last uh, 12 months, and 2016, we're flat again. Um, I wouldn't uh, get into riskier assets. We might have that FOMC rate hike in June. The expectations were down to 3% only that they were going to hike in the June meeting uh, next month, and now it's up to 20% today based on some of the inflation data, the CPI and PPI that was released last week, CPI yesterday or two days ago, that kind of showed that inflation's picking up and if the Fed doesn't uh, head that off, um, you know, it could be in for some uh, more pain there. But at the same time, jobs are starting to get affected, but we're still at that 5% unemployment rate, which is still pretty solid. Okay, good to have you here. Thank you so much, Tom. Good to be here.